Hi everybody. Thanks for watching this video again. Uh, this is the second video in my new series about the chord harmonica. Um, welcome. Um, if you've downloaded my document in the last video, and I'll put it here in the description on this video again, um, about the chord harmonica, um, you'll also find a sort of description in the document where I describe several types of chord harmonica. Um, like I said in the last video, there are lots of different types of chord harmonicas. Um, and I was going to explain, sort of give you an idea of what different chord harmonicas there are out there. First of all, and the best known chord harmonica, and unfortunately at the moment I've only got one body, the second body is, I've got that as well, but I'm still working on the hinges to put it together. So, the best known one, and the one, the chord harmonica that's been around for the longest time, is the Honer 48 chord. Um, this is an old one, again there's only one body at the moment. This is an old one, made with a wooden comb. Trust me, this is a wooden comb. Uh, the biggest, largest harmonica comb made out of one piece of wood in the history of harmonica. Will never be surpassed. Um, this is an old one. It's been around since the 1930s, I think. Some, many, many years, many decades. And it's one of the classical court harmonicas that you see in older um, harmonica ensemble, harmonica trio videos and stuff like that. It's the Honer 48 chord. Um, this, like I said, is an old one. Nowadays they do a new one um, with a perspex comb. So a see-through, like a glass perspex comb and it's got actually you can all take it apart but also every chord has got its own little reed plate so the honer is actually you can actually um, lay that out in the way you wish because you can actually switch the chords around etc etc the honer 48 chord or if you buy the new one the chord 48 it's also the most expensive um, chord harmonica that you can buy. They don't do these old and wooden ones anymore. Uh, they only do the new ones. And I think at the moment they're around £1,500 sterling. Um, probably around $2,000, $1,700, £1,800, Euros, something like that. And it's got a bit of a classical sound. used in many, many, many harmonica trios, quartets, etc. Um, that's that's uh, the, the most well-known chord harmonica. Not exactly this one, but the new one. And of course with two bodies. A competitor to this harmonica is the Suzuki SCH48 laid out in pretty much the same way. Now, if you look at this harmonica and the Suzuki is the same, um, you've got each, each chord is, has got eight separate reed chambers and separate reeds. So each chord is actually eight reeds, eight notes sounding at the same time. How this works is basically all the chords are laid out in one, three, five, eight. And of course, it's in two layers. So if I play, play the holes at the bottom first, then I hear this. Mm -hmm. 
And then I play the top row, the other four holes, you hear this. So it's actually octave tunes. Eight reeds give you four notes and each note comes in two different octaves. So it's quite a full bodied chord sound. Etc. So quite a full sounding chord harmonica. Very nice with um, classical music usually or you know the old-fashioned um, uh, trio quartet music things like that. Um, the new one this I've had this uh, done up um, so this has been painted sealed etc uh, etc et but it's still a wooden comb. The new one with the Perspex comb, um, it's it's great that um, Hona actually comes out with this new one. It's time to say goodbye to these old wooden combs. I've had major problems with these combs with this one because this is actually a very old court harmonica dating back to the 60s, and it took uh, it took the guy over a year to actually completely uh, revamp this harmonica. It's also completely valved, so ex every hole, every reed has a valve, um, which means you can actually play the whole chord. <laughs> you take the whole body, the harmonica body, in your mouth and you blow the whole chord in one go. Um, you'd think it'd take quite a bit of breath, but it actually, it's actually quite all right because all the, they're all valved, so every, every reed has a wind saver. Etc. So, the Honer. Now, the difference between the Suzuki and the Honer is this. If you play the Honer chord, the Honer 48 chord, even the new one, you can hear that the C chord is the lowest. And then it goes up. B is the highest chord. One of the the benefit of this chord harmonica is that the honer is that all the chords are laid out in exactly the same way. So it's one three five eight one three five eight one three five eight etc. Everywhere, every chord. But because um, all the chords are laid out in the same way. You can also play what is called, and there's a piece of that in the document as well. You can play uh, split chords. So basically you can take part of one chord and part of another chord next to it. And that makes then a new chord. So don't think with a honer you're restricted to 48 chords. You can actually play about 150 different chords on this. So if you're a bit of a, a chord freak. If you're into, I don't know, uh, like jazz music and you like a, a nice crafty jazz chord or anything like that, then the honer is the best way to go forward. The most versatile chord harmonica available. Now, the Suzuki, the competitor, the main competitor, looks the same, although the Suzuki has got plastic bodies and it's a bit, it feels a bit more modern, etc. But there's one major difference. The Suzuki sounds much more in the same place. And that is because, and I need to, in, I need to explain what inversions are. Um, a normal chord, a, say a C major chord on this honer, sounds like this. <laughs> But of course, a C major chord, you don't have to start on the C, you can start on the E. So 
So instead of a C major chord, so an inversion basically means it's the same chord, only the, the notes are in a different order. And that is the trick with the Suzuki chord harmonica. Um, the Suzuki SCH48, very similar to the Honer, but it sounds very different. Um, it's because the chords are much more together and you don't get this from low to high. So the sound, the sound, every chord sounds more or less around the same kind of pitch. Um, for some people, it's better. If you're a recording artist, so if you record the chords on a Suzuki, they might sound a bit better in place than the honer. But then again, the honer is more versatile because all the chords are laid out in the same way. You can actually, it's easier to play split chords on the honer. So the honer is more versatile. So again, there's no such thing as a, a better or a worse chord harmonica. They're just different. Right. So the Honer 48 chords, the Suzuki SCH 48. They are what's called the classical sort of chord harmonicas. Then the harmonica that I showed you in my last video is the Suzuki BCH bass chord, BCH 48. It's this one. This one's complete, got the hinges on. So, and I played this for you a little bit last time. Um, very, very different from the Honer and the SCH48 by Suzuki. Very different. Um, you get the same effect as you get on the Honer where the pitch is concerned. So the Suzuki BCH also goes from C the lowest. <laughs> up to B. So that's the same effect, only this chord harmonica does not have valves. It's not valved at all. Um, on the one hand, and there's, there's, a, there's a, actually there's a 20, there's a 24 chord of this also available, the SGH 24. It's the same as this chord harmonica, only half the size. Um, you want to have Tony Ayers in Australia. He puts videos on YouTube with a harmonica trio. Um, and one of the guys, uh, it's actually himself, but one of the instruments they're played is the uh, 24 chord. So it's half the size of this, but actually the same kind of harmonica, chord harmonica. Now, what's the, dis what's the advantage of having no valves is that these chord harmonicas are very easy to clean. You don't even need to take it apart, you just whack it in the bath, rinse it out, let it dry and off you go, nice and clean. So whereas with the Honer and this other Suzuki you have to be very careful because it's got valves, so you don't want sticky valves and etc. So this is actually um, a lot easier to maintain, but not only that, because there are no valves, the sound is actually also very different. And believe it or not, this chord harmonica was actually designed for blues. So to be to accompany blues players on diatonic. And because there's no valves, you can do things with the sound. So you can do more things with, you can play your chords a bit more dirty if you like, because there are no valves in this. Now, the problem with the chord harmonica that doesn't have valves is um, that the blow chord is in the top hole. So all the, all the reeds here are in the top hole. 
where the draw reed, the draw reed, so the draw chord, the seventh chord, is in the bottom, there. Whereas on the Honer and the other Suzuki, you get the whole chord in both rows, blow and draw. But here, the blow and draw are in separate holes. So, believe it or not, this harmonica is played very differently, and you need to use what is called lip blocking. If you play a blow chord, you put your bottom lip on the draw chord. So you block the lower chord off with your bottom lip. Whereas if you play a draw chord, you get the other way around. So you block the top chord off with your top lip, lip blocking. So the lip blocks off because if you don't do that and you just play it as the same as a honer, you lose half of your breath. Without lip blocking. And with lip blocking. So your chords get sharper and you lose you don't lose much breath you don't run out of breath very quickly so a completely different animal played in a different way than the honer or the suzuki standard classical um, again these comes in this comes in two sizes 48 chords and also the 24 chords uh, it's about half the size but it's basically the same so it also comes with the bass notes. So the old fashioned way you used to play chords, what would people think of bass and chords is a bit like. Uh, <laughs> that's the old fashioned way. But of course you can do other things a bit more modern. So you can play on this one, you can play, and on the 24 chords, you can play with the bass and chords together. Um, don't expect to be able to play a bass solo on this chord harmonica, because that's that's quite difficult. Um, but again, no vowels and all the reeds. So all the reeds, the chord reeds are all in one hole. There's no separate reed chambers and the bass note comes in the hole separate, which means and I know someone who's not going to agree with me, which is, <laughs> but actually it's very, very difficult, at least put it that way, to play split chords on this. Because you can't just sort of part, block part of the chord off, take a part of another chord and make that into a new chord. That is very, very difficult on this uh, chord harmonica. Again, because the reeds are all in one chamber. No separate reed chambers. Um, boom, boom, boom. Then, um, so so much about the Honer 48 chords, the Suzuki SCH 48, and then Suzuki do two bass chord harmonicas, the SCH 24, and the last one is BCH 48. Um, to give you an idea of the price, uh, like I said, the Honer is about the Honer 48 chord is the most expensive one, around 1500 pounds. The Suzuki SCH 48, uh, I think, comes in at just under a thousand pounds. And another brand that has made a chord harmonica very similar to the Honer is actually East Top. Now, Personally, I don't know if that chord harmonica is already available, whether you can buy it or not. Basically, it's the same idea as this Honer, 48, the new Honer, not this one, the new one. Um, it's actually very similar, 
the same layout, just as versatile, only it's supposed to be, of course, a lot cheaper than the Honor. But I have no idea if it's actually available at the moment. If anything, you want to um, you want to look at uh, newharmonica.com. That's Danny G's website in the USA. And if you can't find it there, just ask the question and see if it's available. Eastop 48 chord harmonica is very similar to the Honor, only comes in at a much lower price. It's just as versatile. Also with the reed plates, you can take them off and reconfigure the whole chord harmonica in the way you like. So that's as far as 48 chord harmonicas go. Uh, again, like I explained, very different animals, very different sound, very different playing technique, um, etc. etc. Now, um, there are some cheaper options. Um, first of all, if you're not quite sure and you want to see if the, hum, the chord harmonica is something for you, um, you could actually start with a melodica, believe it or not. Melodica is quite cheap. You can buy a melodica for fifty pounds. It's it's like a blow, uh, a blow keyboard, little keyboard with a blow. It's also a free read instrument, so it goes actually quite well with harmonicas. So if you want to try it out and you don't want to spend too much money, um, start on a melodica. Why not try it out? Um, another chord harmonica that you can see in some videos um, that I used, uh, especially by Sven, that's a harmonica quartet from Finland, is a, a very old ho um, chord harmonica. It looks a bit like a box, like a big square box, and it's got all the buttons on the top. Again, I haven't got one, so I can't demonstrate this to you. Um, they are actually very old Honer harmonettas. A Honer harmonetta enables you to play any chord, any chord you can think of, jazz chords, you name it, anything. It works basically like the bass section uh, on the left hand side of a accordion. It's like the same kind of button box type of thing. Um, the Honer stopped making the harmonetta many, many years ago. Um, it's a very, very complicated instrument. Um, so you can't get them new, but you might be able to get your hand on a second hand one if you're lucky. But they are old and they're very, very complicated instruments on the inside as well. Lots and lots of parts and the combs. The old combs are made of the old bakelite, bakelite, so they're crumbly. So a Honer Harmonetta, and look it up on YouTube, Honer Harmonetta. Um, they're very um, sensitive instruments, and you need to spend a lot of time trying to maintain it and keep it in good condition. And you need, you might need to, to be a good technician, because it might need quite a few repairs. So that's the Honer Harmonetta. Again, the mo an old chord harmonica that you can see on some YouTube videos. Have a look at Sven, S-V-A-N-G. It's a harmonica trio from Finland. And the chord guy in there, he plays, he plays a Honer Harmonetta. Um, interesting, but difficult. And then there is also a modern version, and that's an instrument that probably most of you will never have never heard of. If you've never seen a, a chord harmonica in your life, then you'll definitely not never have seen this. And it's called an accordina. A-C-C-O-R-D-I-N-A. -C -C accordina. Look it up on YouTube. It's a very, very interesting modern instrument. Um, also quite expensive. I think they come in at about £1,200. And it's basically like a box like a long box with a mouthpiece on the side so you sort of blow into it and you play it like that and again that's got a button box like you find on the left hand side of a accordion so they uh, 
accompaniment section on accordion. So the accordina, you can also play any chords that you like. And it's still a harmonica. It's a free read instrument and it's a harmonica. But again, not cheap, but something modern. So if 48 chords is not enough for you, or if around 150 chords is not enough for the honer, and you sort of really want to explore as many chords as you like, then that might be an option for you. The accordina. I don't know what make. I think there's a, a, a maker in France who makes them. Uh, they're all handmade, quite expensive. Um, look it up. Look it up. Accordina. So that's another option. Um, when it comes to this type, the 48 chord harmonica, the cheapest one available is actually a swan. Swan make a 48 chord harmonica. The swan is actually half the size of this. Half the size. It's only one foot long. Why? Because first of all, it hasn't got the bass notes. So these bass notes are, so all you got is these, um, the chord notes, and it only contains four reeds per chord. Not eight, four. This actually contains seven, so that's five chord reeds and two bass reeds. This one, as I explained, contains eight reeds, so it sounds quite full bodied. The Swan, now I don't know what they are, how much they are now. Uh, they used to sell a few years ago for about 300 pounds sterling, 300 British pounds. Um, so it's a smaller one, so you'd have to be careful how to play your chords, but still, all the 48 chords are there, no bass notes of course, but also no valves, so you can um, you can play the sound effects with that. Uh, no valves, so you, again you need lip blocking and that kind of stuff. And, and it doesn't sound as full as a um, one of these chord harmonicas. So the Swan 48 chord harmonica is about, I think, a few years ago they were £300. So maybe at the moment they sell for £400. I'm not sure. Have a look. Look it up. Swan 48 chord harmonica. Um, then Suzuki, of course, who else, invented a whole new concept for the chord harmonica. And there's a whole section in the document about that. And that's actually a 48 chord harmonica. In fact, in actual fact, there are actually 60 chords on there. So, but again, they're the same 48 that you'll find on these chord harmonicas. But it looks like a 14 hole chromatic. Um, not sure what it's called. I think it's SSCH or something like that. It's, it's a chord harmonica. In a 14 hole chromatic. And the mouthpiece has got certain indentations in it so you can find certain sections so say three holes of that or you take three holes there so you can actually feel your way around with your lips around the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is especially shaped so you can find your chords easier. All your chords are there. Um, the only thing with the Suzuki SSCH, I think it's called, have a look, the 14-hole chromatic chord harmonica, is most of the chords, not all of them, but most of the chords only consists of three reeds. Now, don't see that as a negative. It doesn't have to be something negative. Because if you play, and I, I struggle to find people to play with on a chord harmonica, I really struggle to find someone who wants to play chromatic with me on chords to accompany. So if you find someone to play with, you're usually playing as a duet or a trio. And the Suzuki, the 14 hole chromatic, the chords on there actually sound much more in place in a small setting, two or three of you, then it actually sounds much nicer. Because with this chord harmonica, I actually have to be careful if I play with other people because this can be actually quite overpowering. <coughs> so 
So as you can imagine, it sounds quite overpowering. Whereas a smaller harmonica, like the Suzuki 14-hole chromatic chord harmonica, let's, let's call it that, could actually sound much better in a smaller, in a duet or a trio. So don't think of it as, as negative, because a chord with only three reeds could actually sound much nicer in certain settings. A brilliant invention, absolutely brilliant invention by Suzuki. They've really turned the whole world upside down where chord harmonicas concer are concerned. And if you struggle to bring this along on a stage and you sway it around like anything and you hit your neighbour with the, the harmonica every three minutes, then it might be an option for you to go for the 14-hole chromatic Suzuki chord harmonica. So there are all sorts of different options. And it's not a case that one is better than the other. It really isn't. There's, there's different chord harmonicas for different settings, for different types of music, um, for different types of players, and etc. Um, again, the document gives you an overview. It, all, it also comes with the charts. So the chord chart for the 48 chord uh, Suzuki or the Honer or E-Stop. And I've also put a chart in, the chord chart, for the Suzuki 14-hole chromatic uh, chord harmonica. Um, so have a look around the document and see for yourself. So if you're thinking of maybe buying a chord harmonica and starting to play it, um, again, there's, there's, different, there's various different options. Some of them are quite expensive. Um, you know, the Honer... 48 chord is about 1500 pounds if 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 i'm if i'm correct um the harmon uh accordina sorry that's quite an expensive instrument but very modern very nice and it suits really nicely with a harmonica trio duet quartet whatever very nice instrument and modern um, so there, is, there are all different options available. Have a look around and watch YouTube videos of every chord harmonica before you buy one. What also could be a good idea is to actually find someone to play with. Because that actually at the moment is my problem. Because I've got chord harmonicas. I love playing chords. It's my favourite harmonica. It really is. But there's no one to play with. Um, so if you play a chromatic and you like me playing chords with you. And if you're in the UK, hopefully maybe middle, middle UK and central UK. Around Birmingham, around there, Leicester. Let me know. And maybe we can team up. and uh, I can play chords and you can play melody. So that's it um, for this video. Um, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.